Chemist YouTube channel. Today we will talk about the basic interview questions asked in interview regarding HPLC. So let's start the video. The first question is what is full form of HPLC? The answer is high pressure liquid chromatography or high performance liquid chromatography. Next question is what is the principle of HPLC? The answer is HPLC is a separation technique of components from a mixture by using solid stationary phase and liquid mobile phase. The next question is what are the main components of HPLC? The answer is uh, the first one is HPLC solvent, second HPLC pump and then injector and then HPLC column and then detector and then your data equation. The next question is what is reverse phase chromatography? The answer is where mobile phase is more polar than stationary phase is called as reverse phase chromatography. The next question is what is normal phase chromatography? The answer is where stationary phase is more polar than mobile phase is called as normal phase chromatography. The next question is what is USP general chapter for chromatography? The answer is USP general chapter number 621. The next question is how many types of chromatography? The answer is there are two types of chromatography number one liquid chromatography and number two gas chromatography. The next question is why we called high pressure liquid chromatography? The answer is as applying high pressure by using pump on chromatography. The next question is what are the types of detector used in HPLC? The answer is UV detector, PDA detector, conductivity detector, refractive index and light scattering. The next question is what is the difference between isocratic and gradient run? The answer is in isocratic system the mobile phase composition remains same throughout the run while in gradient system the mobile phase composition varies over the run time. The next question is what is the retention time and relative retention time in HPLC? The answer is retention time it is the time between injection and the appearance of the P maxima while the relative retention time is the comparison of the retention time of one component to the another. The next question is uh, which standard used for the calibration of HPLC? The answer is caffeine is used as standard for the calibration purpose. The next question is why caffeine standard is used for calibration? The answer is Basically, there are two reasons. Number one, it is very stable and durable and the second reason is it is shows two maxima and one minima at 205, 273 and 245 nanometer respectively. The next question is what is the most commonly used in stationary phase? The answer is silica gel is used in stationary phase. The next question is why silica gel used as stationary phase and the answer is silica gel is inert material and does not react with mobile phase that is why silica gel is used as a stationary phase. The next question is what is the difference between C8 and C18 column? The answer is C18 is more hydrophobic than C8. Due to that property, C18 has longer retention time as compared with C8. The next question is what is the wide volume in HPLC? The answer is wide volume is a volume of mobile phase required to elute an undetained P. The next question is what is dead volume in HPLC? The answer is that volume is the volume of HPLC system between point of injection to the point of detection. The next question is what is the baseline in HPLC? The answer is baseline is a detector response to the mobile phase. 
and the last question is what are the most common buffers used in HPLC and the answer is acetate buffer and phosphate buffer are most common buffers used in HPLC. Zid informative videos dekhne ke liye channel ko subscribe karein aur video ko like karein. Allah Hafiz.